People always ask me, Alan, how user-friendly is ProCalc? ProCalc is so user-friendly you can't believe. ProCalc is a combination of Microsoft Excel and Visual Basic combined. However, you don't need to know any Excel to use this program. Let me repeat, you don't need to know any Excel to use ProCalc. You will notice that ProCalc does not have the regular Excel menu bar and icons. ProCalc has all of its own menu bars, its own buttons, and its own code. It's just using the Excel engine to run the numbers. Every ProCalc program has the same menu bar. Once you've learned to use one ProCalc program, you've learned to use all of them. Let's spend a few minutes going through the menu bar. We'll start with the file menu. File is typical stuff you'd find in any Windows program. You can save files, open files, close files. You can exit back out to the ProCalc main menu, which is where we just came from. You can go to Page Setup, Printer Setup, you can delete a file, or you can exit out of Excel at any time. The ability for you to move around a ProCalc file easily is critically important to your ability to enjoy using this software. Wait till you see how easy this is. There are two sections in every ProCalc program. There's the data entry form, and then there's the reports. You fill in the data entry form, and all the reports fill in automatically. To move around the data entry form, click on Go to Data Entry. You'll see we have general information, lease term and discount rate, square footage, cash contribution, electric. Escalation 1 is what we use for operating in CAM. Escalation 2 is CPI and percentage per annum increases, real estate taxes, base rent and free rent, occupancy tax, additional costs and credits to the tenant. You can navigate through the data entry form by clicking on Go to Data Entry. And let's say I want to go to my base rent section. I click on base rent, it takes me there. Go to Data Entry, real estate taxes, takes me there. Go to Data Entry, General Information, takes me there. The data entry forms are lined up in columns. If you're doing a brand new deal, you'll always be moving down. Always go down until eventually you'll see a button that says click here to continue. That'll move you up and over to the next column. You go down until you see click here to continue. That moves you up and over to the next column. You go down until it says click here to continue. It moves you up and over again. Eventually, you'll reach the end of the data entry form. Now, what if I did a deal yesterday? did the analysis, saved the file, went home, came back today, and the landlord decided to change the base rent on me. Well, I don't want to have to scroll through all the boxes to get back to the base rent section. I would just like to go to the base rent section. You open the file, it takes you to the top of the data entry form, you click on Go to Data Entry, click on Base Rent, and it takes you right there. You can go right to any specific section of the data entry form, or if you're doing a new deal, you just always move down and fill in the boxes as you go. Navigating through ProCal couldn't be any easier. Throughout this DVD, you're going to see the screens be flipping and moving around. Every time you see the screen change, all I'm doing is using one of the go-to menus. When you're done entering data, you're ready to print. Click on Print. You can print all data entry forms and spreadsheets, data entry forms only, or spreadsheet only. A, B, and C print multiple pages. D through L are all the individual reports. Now I ask you, could it get any easier than this? Everything in ProCalc is formatted for you. However, if you wanted to do some customizing of your own, we have two format commands. Format 1 lets you format the contents of the cell. Format 2 lets you format the attributes of a cell. To format a cell or group of cells, first select the cell or cells you want to format, then click on the format menu of your choice. We'll click on background color. We're going to click on ProCalc yellow, click OK, and you'll see the background turns yellow. The restore menu is a very important menu, but I don't have any data in here to restore yet, so we're going to skip that for now. The Tools menu is a series of tools that I have built into the program to help you through the analysis process. I want to focus on letter B, the calculators. I have built a series of 10 different calculators into ProCalc. The concept is, is that when you're in ProCalc, you never need an HP 12C. You're going to love this. Check it out. To get to the calculators at any time, click on Tools and click on Calculators. There are 10 different calculators. Let's start at the top with Rentable, Usable, Loss, and Add-on Calculator. You can fill in any two of the four boxes below, and the other two will automatically calculate. For example, if you know your usable area is 9,876 square feet and your add-on factor is 18.5%, you'll see down below Rentable, Loss, Usable, and Add-on all calculate. Now, for every result in the calculators, there's a Copy Result button. You click Copy Result, and that copies the number to the Windows clipboard. You click OK to get out of the calculators, and then I'm going to go to my Rentable Area box. I right-click, and I hit Paste, and the number from the calculator goes right into the box. We also have a percentage of building calculator. 
You can fill in any two of these three boxes, tenant's rentable area, tenant's percentage of building, or the gross building area. So if I was reading an old lease that didn't tell me what the tenant's square footage is, but I know that the tenant's percentage is 4.5% of the building, and the building is 276,543 square feet, this tenant must be 12,444 square feet. Click Next, and we have a Multiply, Divide, Add, and Subtract calculator. This should be self-explanatory. Click Next, and we have an amortization calculator. Suppose you needed an additional $20 a foot from the landlord in TI money. The landlord agreed to give it to you, but he said he would amortize it back into the deal at 10% over the life of the lease. This calculator would let you figure out what it's going to cost you in every year to get that money from the landlord. The amortization calculator allows you to amortize money either on a monthly or an annual basis, assuming either a beginning or end of period payment. I should mention that ProCalc does all time value calculations on a true monthly basis, assuming a beginning of month payment, because that's the way rent is paid. You can change it, but those are the defaults. We're going to amortize $20 at 10% over 120 months, and you'll see that this is going to cost you monthly $0.26 cents a foot or annually $3.14 a foot a year. Click Next, and we're at the Present Value Calculator. The Present Value Calculator lets you calculate today's value of a future sum of money. For example, suppose a landlord was going to give you $5 in month number 60 for new paint and carpet, but you decided you'd rather have the money today. This calculator would tell you what today's value of $5 five years from now would be. You can do the present value calculation either monthly or annually. The future value is $10. We're going to discount it back at 10% over 60 months. The present value is $6.07. The landlord can give you $10 60 months from now or $6.07 today, and it's the exact same thing so long as you both agree on the 10% discount rate. Click Next, and we're at the Average Increase Calculator. So you're trying to figure out what should I increase my taxes and operating by. Call the landlord, get the last couple of years of history for operating in the building, put it into this calculator, and this calculator will tell you what the average increase for operating has been in this building over the last however many years you put in. Suppose the operating base over the last five years was $5, $5.32, $5.65, $5.87, and $6. You'll see that ProCal calculates the increase rate from year to year, and then down below, it calculates the average increase over the entire term. You can copy that result into the increase rate box for operating or taxes and make a comment that says that represents the average increase rate for the last five years. Click Next, and we're at the free rent calculator. When you enter free rent into ProCalc, you need to enter the number of months of free rent. Sometimes you might know a specific dollar amount of free rent. This calculator will convert a dollar amount into a number of months of free rent for you. Suppose your annual base rent was $350,000 and you're looking to get free rent of $176,521.98. You need to get 6.05218 months of free rent and you can copy that into the free rent box. Click on Next and you're at the Parking Calculator. Suppose you're getting 40 parking spaces, 35 unreserved spaces at $50 a month and 5 reserved spaces at $80 a month. This calculator will tell you what your total parking cost is. For the parking calculator, you enter your square footage, 10,000 feet, and let's say that I was going to get 35 unreserved spaces at $50 a month and 5 reserved spaces at $80 a month, it would now calculate my total parking cost at $25,800 a year or $2.58 per square foot. Click Next, and we're at the Future Base Amount Calculator. This calculator is great for when you're taking space today, but you're also committing to additional space in the future, and you negotiate new base years for the additional space in the future. For example, today it's 2004, and we commit to some space today. The operating base in the building is $6. We assume it'll increase at 3%. Then we have this other piece of space which we're going to take in 2009. And when we take that space, we're going to get new base years. So when we do the analysis for that piece of space, we need to know what's the base amount in 2009 going to be. That's what this calculator will tell you. If the base year is 2004, and the base amount is $6, and the increase rate is 4% a year, this calculator calculates what all the future base amounts are going to be in the next 15 years. I can just click Copy Column A and copy the base amount for 2009, $7.29, into the Base Amount box. This calculator is also excellent for when you're trying to figure out the sale price of a building. 
Let's say you bought a building in 2004 and you paid $100 a foot for it and you assumed it would increase at 2% a year and you wanted to sell the building in the year 2014, your sales price would be $121.89. Click Next and we're at the Unamortized Amount Calculator. This calculator is excellent for calculating cancellation penalties, like the unamortized portion of cash contribution, free rent, and commission. Check it out. The amount is the sum of your cash contribution, free rent, and commission, let's say $35. We're going to amortize it at 10% over 120 months. What month do you want to cancel? I'm going to cancel this lease in month number 66. So you'll now see, down below, it calculates the unamortized amount. So I have a 10-year deal. If I cancel in month 66, the unamortized amount is $19.88. That's my cancellation penalty. These calculators exist in every ProCalc program. Just click on Tools and Calculators in the menu bar. Help is probably your most important menu. Click here for awesome tech support. For the most awesome tech support in the universe, call the ProCalc office at 516-484-8080. The office is open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, till the phone stops ringing. After hours, you can call my brother at home or you can call me at home. For your convenience, we're available 24-7, 365. We look forward to speaking with you. Is ProCalc awesome or what? How many vendors give you that level of commitment? Okay, that's it for the menu bars. Let's move on.